for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Red Zone Coins. Use code Venom at checkout for 10% off. Yo, what's up, guys? Venom Fire here, back from another video. And today, what I'm going to be bringing you guys is going to be another gameplay in Madden 22. It's going to be another offensive showcase, and the offense we're talking about is going to be the Gun Bunch Y Flex formation. This is a new formation added. It is actually in a good amount of playbooks, and I'm going to show you guys what I think the best playbook for it is. And I'm going to show you all of my good setups for this. I ran this offense a lot in the beta. It was one of my favorites in the entire game. And we're going to go over and discuss it. You see, I'm going to be using the Chiefs. We are still playing regs. Um, my ultimate team is just not good enough for me to you know, drop ultimate team gameplays yet. The limited hours, I don't really have too much time to grind it. And with the Xbox One trial glitched, just eating my hours for no reason, I can't build a good enough team yet. So... There will be ultimate team gameplays once the actual game is released. Trust me on that one. But for now, we're going to use the Kansas City Chiefs high-powered offense. See, I'm rocking the Patty Mahomes jersey right now. But let's go to the playbooks. We got the Indianapolis Colts on offense. Again, I might drop a full ebook on this. Go over everything in practice mode. If you guys want to see that, drop a like on this video. Comment down below. 4-6 on defense. Going to be running the defense that I dropped yesterday. So check that out. Check that video out if you have not already. It's what I think is one of the best defenses in the game. And yeah, overall, it's going to do it. Before we into the video, make sure you guys go ahead, drop that subscribe button. We're on the road to 17,000 subscribers. So if you're new, go ahead, hit that sub button. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, hopping into the game, let's get straight into our audibles for this gun bunch Y flex. Again, we're in the Colts playbook. So my favorite audibles for this are personally going to be um, this dagger play. You have inside zone, you have verticals, which you will leave, which of course you can't see because my face cam is in the way, but we got flood, inside zone, verticals, and dagger. Those are going to be our audibles. There's also plays like smash return, which again, you can't see because my face cam, but um, Z spot, smash return, spacing. So we got a lot of firepower in this. For the first play of the game, I like to go with a stock spacing look. Just, just to feel him out what he's doing, it is going to be a basic man coverage look. Just going to low ball this baby hitch. Easy completion. There actually are some really good stock plays in this formation. So to begin the game, you don't even really have to make too many adjustments. We're just going to run dagger stock now. Just to, again, feel him out what he's doing. He's going to leave Tyree Kill one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to take his user out of the play. And manning up Tyree Kill on a linebacker, probably not the most smart thing to do. I don't know what just happened, but we got in the end zone. We literally swerved that one guy. Looks like we suctioned into some weird reach for animation, but we actually end up getting into the end zone first play. So yeah, don't run man coverage against gun bunch Y flex. All right, now the big question is, can we stop that man number 22, Derrick Henry? Definitely one of the best players in Madden this year. It's going to be a handful to stop him, but I did set my defensive game plan to stop the inside run. So we should be able to clog the lane pretty solidly. And all I'm running defensively is going to be the exact same scheme that I just posted yesterday, this cover four palms, one of the better schemes in the game. Uh, you see the coverage pretty much airtight. Everything deep is bagged. We end up getting that pressure and stopping him right there. All right, man, right here, we're just going to uh, go ahead and mix things up, see if we can confuse our opponent. Again, we're stopping the inside zone pretty well, so that's definitely a good sign with Tennessee. That's something that he certainly wants to establish. We got a big time third and three here. Let's see if we can get off the field. In third and three, I'm just going to full send and actually press everybody besides the guy that's on Julio Jones. So we are susceptible to maybe getting beat deep. The adjustment that I did, oh, the adjustment that I did is I threw Frank Clark in the hard flat, took away the drag, but unfortunately... That little weird crosser got over my quarter flat. All right, and Derrick Henry just goes ahead, punches it in. So not a good drive. We did make him work a lot harder than we had to. Got him into multiple third downs, which is always good. The feel out drive for us defensively, we know he wants to pound it with Henry a lot. Go underneath, stuff like that. We'll be able to pick up on and take advantage later in the game. Now a play that has a deeper crosser than Dagger is the 63 something choice. I don't know exactly what it's called, but since he's in this particular defense, we're gonna go with the inside zone. See if we can just pick up easy yards. Look at the pancakes. I don't know exactly what coverage he was in, but we just picked up pancakes. Ooh, so close to actually breaking that tackle and going all the way. Now, probably my favorite spot to put Tyreek Hill in is going to be this kind of slot position. I feel like that's the best place you get the most out of him. We're going to go with a new setup here. It looks like some man coverage, so we're just going to drag Tyreek. We got our corner out routes, in routes that will beat man. Could go over the top with Hardman if it's available, so check that out. See what we might have here. We're just going to be patient, playmaker Tyreek Hill up the field. We got some time, um, so we're just gonna roll out. Try and hit Kelsey, he's gonna kinda sit there, and looks like 
That might have actually been a new addition to the game. I don't know, but Kelsey, instead of playmaking back, he noticed that he was open in the zone coverage and actually kind of sat there, waited for us to be able to throw the ball to him. Let's go back to Dagger. We did have success with it. I don't know why we've been going away from it. I'm just going to throw this little check down early. He was using the linebacker a little bit out of position, and I knew Edward Tolera goes a little bit too far outside for him to get there in time. Now, probably the biggest issue with bunch wide flex is the blocking. You can't block seven. Um, I'm not sure if a blitz meta will ever materialize in this game, but this guy is blitzing right now. So I guess we will kind of test out the blocking, see how it does. Now, what I'm going to do is pretty much just put B on a little out route, A on an extended in route, just a basic route combination. Hopefully we can block well right here. We got McCole Hardman immediately. I might've had that corner out, but didn't want to risk it. Just get the ball out early. We can go to flood, drag A, block our running back again. I don't know if he's blitzing. I would assume this is zone, but it could also be a blitz where he's just not base aligned, meaning his players are kind of out of position here. It is going to be zone coverage as I kind of predicted here. And we're just going to take off with Mahomes. We have some space. Try to get down on the ground. You see, I press X. I hate that that's in the game where you press X, they don't go to the ground, and they'll get suctioned into tackling enemy. I'm going right back to the Z spot play. I think we can get him open. I might honestly just go with something like this. Kelsey on the out route, Hardman on the out route. Hill, potentially, if it's zone coverage, we got Hill and Hilaire on those routes. Going to try and hit one of these out routes, though, probably. And it uh, looks like we don't have much open. Didn't want him to playmaker. Someone playmaker backwards. Thank you, Kelsey. And there we go, 99 overall. You know he's going to hold on to that. So we work our way into the end zone. Guy definitely dropped a lot there. And we are able to punch in, although not an easy drive. We did take some nice clock off. We're just going to play it relatively safe here. Go with a little cover three Mabel type of a look. Uh, we'll give him a little check downs in the middle of the field, but we want to defend things that are a little bit deeper. You see, you can have those six yard check downs when there's only a minute left. And I know you have to go no huddle there. It's just the smart thing to do. Even if he gets a field goal here, we're not in that terrible position by the way that the game is going. He can't stop us. So um, we don't want to give up anything big though. So again, he's probably going to hit this slant. Oh, Juan Thornhill, you got to make that play. I couldn't have put you in a better spot for that. He has some speed right there. Just unfortunate. It looked like a drop pick. I'm going to go with a complete bluff blitz here defensively. We're just going to literally drop everybody something like this just to kind of mix it up a bit, not give him anything else. He's going to throw this and the honey badger makes that play. He actually tips it up. Richard Fenton is able to come up with the interception. And now we are actually in business to score ourselves. Now this play is actually called the 83 halfback choice. That is what it's called. We're in a motion over a slant. We got a deeper crosser, um, which actually could be a very good play and potential for cover three beaters, zone beaters. Put Kelsey on a little out route and then just put Hardman on a baby out route. In a motion that slant over. See exactly what he's in. Got Kelsey easy there. Possession catch, and that's a big first down. I'm going to go to the Z spot play. What we're actually going to do is motion over this corner out, turn into a post route. I slanted a flat X and we're going to motion to Marcus Robinson over. It looks like a potential man coverage look here. See exactly what happens. We got RB wide open. Not sure what route he was expecting, but the post definitely fooled him there. Of course, the slant also got his attention with Tyreek Hill. We end up punching it in, going up 21 to 6. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Badger? I clicked off and he just auto dives into the ground. That's just amazing. Apparently, I guess I am forced to just play strictly this type of a coverage rush to. Don't really want to, but we are kind of forced to. We'll give him A as he's going to throw an interception instead. Another drop pick. Thankfully, I'm always there with my user to catch these rebounds. Look at Sorensen. Get loose, Sorensen. Ooh, maybe we could have got something if he could have got by that alignment. See if we can take this deep with Tyreek Hill. We're going to go deep and, oh my gosh, dude. Come on, Mahomes. You got to hit that pass. Everything should be locked up. He's going to test the Badger again. What are you doing right there? Dude, how many interceptions are we going to drop? That's like four this game, I'm pretty sure. Come on, dude. Like, when defense is this bad, you have to catch interceptions when they're actually thrown at you. Everything is locked up once again. He's going to scramble out with Tannehill. We're not going to do anything. And I accidentally hit six. I meant to click on to the D lineman. Let's see what he's going to do. Everything should be locked up. And he's going to throw it right at the user. I don't know what he was looking at. We were following that all the way with Daniel Sorensen. Here we're going to run some dagger. Just This is one of the most basic route combos in Madden. Got a little slant crosser, flat streak combo. See exactly what we're going to have open. Going to have... 
Kelsey early. Again, the low balls do take a while to get out when you don't have Gunslinger, so that's something that you do got to also be careful with. I haven't ran the ball a lot, but since he switched up to this heavy formation, looks like to be a 3-4 even, 3-4 odd. I'm going to go with this RPO. I could actually hit Kelsey probably easily here since he's not pressed, but I'm going to try and hit Reek here. See if we can just get him in the open field. Make a guy miss, and uh, but see the RPO there. Going to go back to stock flood. You know, sometimes it's better to keep it simple. We're going to hit Tyreek early on this little flat. Can he fight for us? Looks like it should be a first down there. They didn't give us the first down there, so we're just going to try and punch it in with this little halfback dive. Should be relatively simple. We run right into him, but we get the fall forward animation. First down for us. Going to hit back this smash return play again. This is probably my favorite setup. Very good play against man coverage. You got the corner, the dig, and that little reverse zig route. Again, I like to put RB on a little fade route. Uh, we got B. You see it even burned the user very well there with McCole Hardman. In the red zone, gonna hit back up Z spot. This is the setup we're rocking with. I motioned out Hardman just a step on his spot route. See exactly what we got. We got B open early there. Just gonna take our check down, pick up around eight yards. Verticals is one of my favorite plays in the red zone. We're gonna flat X, streak Y. See if we can hit either A or Y. Uh, looks like we have nothing open. Gonna scramble, maneuver the pocket with Mahomes. Very good stick work with the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. And we're able to get a walk-in touchdown with Patty Mahomes on the ground. Oh, Frank Clark, you got to make that play for me. Come on now. And just like that, our opponent conceded the game. He just completed a pass. Don't know why he's waiting until now, but looks like he decided that he had no chance in this game, which would be correct. And that's pretty much going to wrap things up. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more gameplays, of course, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more. And that's going to do it for me. All my links are down below in the description. Follow me on all platforms and peace. I'm out of here.